Welcome to Kids Quest from the Chattanooga Public Library with Olga and Shelley. We'll have so much fun with science, games, crafts, and more. Each week, there will be a special project or activity. So get ready to be curious. This week, we are curious about plant fossils. Hundreds of thousands and even millions of years ago, life on Earth looked different. However, there were plants and animals, even dinosaurs and flying reptiles. Hey there, Pteranodon! Perhaps a leaf from a tree landing in a stream might turn into a fossil. Something like a storm could cause a mudslide and the leaf would be buried. The leaf is buried in mud or sediment and as the mud hardens, the leaf decays, leaving an impression in the mud. Over a long period of time, more layers of soil, mud, and other organic matter form a rock around the fossil. And then today, we might be lucky to find that fossil. If we have permission, we could search for the fossil. Carefully dig on the site, looking very carefully to see if we find anything. We did, we found a fossil. Wow, a real fossil alert. This is a picture of an actual fossil. The impression of the leaf is so clear. Did you know there is a great fossil park? You can visit the Fluorescent Fossil Beds National Monument in Colorado. 34 or 35 million years ago, there was a lake in the area now known as Florissant. It is no longer there, so you won't see it if you visit. Along with the lake, there were great redwoods, and science has found evidence that there were volcanoes. This made for a great environment to create fossils. In modern times, people discovered underground that there were many fossils here. In fact, because of this, the U.S. needed to protect the land and the fossils. In 1969, the Florissant Fossil Beds National Monument became a national park. Another real fossil. All these pictures are actual fossils found in Florissant. This is a sumac leaf. Here's another, a fern. This one has great leaf details. Wonder what this one is. A red bud leaf. The veins of this leaf can be seen very well. This plant is part of a redwood tree. Looks like it might be a twig. A fossil flower. Sometimes even scientists don't know exactly the kind of plant they found. This is labeled unknown. And finally, a hickory nut. You can even see the seed impressions in the fossil. Thank you to Fluorescent Fossil Beds for the wonderful pictures. If you can't visit the park, check out their website. It is so much fun. Become a junior ranger, design a ranger station, look at a live webcam. Lots of activities and more pictures. Let's do a plant fossil project. You will need clay or Play-Doh and plants. Leaves are perfect. Take the clay and break off a small piece. Press down to flatten the clay. Press hard and keep going. You want the clay very flat. Now choose a leaf. Press the leaf into the clay. Press around the edges and in the center. You want the leaf to leave a good impression.
Now carefully pull the leaf off. Let's see if it worked. It did! You can see the veins in the leaf and the jagged outline. Here are some other ones I made. This one is of a long leaf. This one made separate leaf impressions. Way to go! And stay curious. Thank you.